All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next on the Power. So this is a video that I get a request for pretty much every single day, and that is to do a bodybuilding profile like I do for all the classic bodybuilders on Rich Piana. Because whether you love him or hate him, he really is one of the biggest figures in the bodybuilding and fitness industry, one of the most well-known, um, one of the most liked, and one of the most disliked people in the industry. And the reality is a lot of people really don't know much about his competitive bodybuilding career um, because they know he wasn't ever a pro bodybuilder, so that we all know that he never turned pro. So I wanted to kind of go over Rich Piana's competitive bodybuilding uh, history in the NPC, and kind of give my thoughts on his physique overall and how it's changed over the years. Because if you look at the first competition he did, um, or the first noteworthy competition he did, the 1999 NPC USA Championships, where he placed seventh, I think he looked very, very impressive at that show, and he looked like a very good bodybuilder. So this is one of the points that I really want to talk about is that the way his biceps look um, in 1999, that's the way they should look. That's the way a real, you know, a real muscle belly and a bicep should look and the separation between the bicep and the tricep should be looking. Um, so in, the, in these photos, I actually think he looked really good. Like I said before, the peak of the bicep is really clear. The separation between the bicep and tricep is really clear. The conditioning actually really appears to be very, very good. And he actually almost even looks aesthetic in 1999. I would even go so far as to say he has a little bit of aesthetics to his physique back then. But then fast forward a little bit. So let's go back to his competitive bodybuilding history. So in 2003, um, he would compete in the NPC USA's again. He would place 11th. Then he would take kind of a hiatus until 2009, where most of the photos that we have of him now are from. So he did the 2009 NPC Border States Classic, and he he apparently won that show. Then he did the 2009 NPC Sacramento, and he won that show as well. Then he competed in the 2010 NPC Nationals, and he did not even place at Nationals. So let's take a look at the photos from 2009 versus the pictures from 1999. So that's a 10-year difference. So let's look at how his physique has changed over that 10-year span. So, like I said before, the first picture I think looks very good. Good separation in the biceps. You know, there's a nice clear definition to them. Whereas in the second picture, I mean, the biceps just look, I don't even know how to describe it. They look blurry almost. There's almost no definition and no clear separation between the bicep and tricep. And it's really hard to see what the shape of the peak even looks like in the second photo. They almost just look like inflated balloons, and I'm not saying that to hate on them. I'm saying that because I believe there's definitely a lot of oil or PMMA or something crazy in his arms that's making them look that way. Because in my opinion, he should have kept he should have kept them the way that they were before. I mean, he wasn't massive, he wasn't huge, but before he looked aesthetic and he had a good looking physique, and you can clearly see the difference now. I mean, his waist got significantly wider between 1999 and 2009. Um, again, the biceps got significantly worse. And of course, you have to factor in the tattoos into his placings because a lot of people want to think that the tattoos don't really affect the bodybuilder's placings. But in my opinion, I think the judges definitely do ding bodybuilders when they have an excessive amount of tattoos. I think a couple tattoos here and there might not hurt anything. Um, but these competitions, Rich Piana pretty much had his arms covered in tattoos at that point and then tattoos going across his chest as well. So I think that also could have been a detrimental factor in his placings. Um, so actually, the photos that you're looking at where he looks kind of pale, those are from the Sacramento and that other show, the Border Classic. Then the photos where he actually looks really, really tan, those are actually from Nationals in 2010. And that's the show that he did not place. But in my opinion, I actually think he looks the best in the photos from the Nationals in terms of uh, his recent bodybuilding, you know, competitive photos. I think Nationals, he actually looks pretty good. And when I say pretty good, I mean pretty good for Rich Piana, not pretty good for bodybuilding in general. But overall, man, I think his arms have really taken a turn for the worse. So keep in mind, 2009, um, this was almost 10 years ago now. I mean, it's almost 2018 now. Um, so this was eight years ago. So if his arms changed that much and started to look that much worse between 1999 and 2009, just think about how much they've changed recently because in the recent years, those are the years that he became a social media star and those are the years that his arms seem to become very, very inflated. And I believe that's the reason why he never hits a front double bicep pose with his fans. Now think about that. I made a video about this before because I thought it was interesting. Um, this is a guy who takes thousands and thousands of selfies and pictures with fans at expos, you know, probably every single day or every single week, I mean. 
But in how many of those photos do you see Rich Piana hitting a front double bicep? Because I don't see him hitting them in any of them. He's always doing that same sidearm pose where he just shows off his arm from the side because everybody knows when you do that side angle pose, you can make your arm look significantly bigger. So I think the reason is, you know, since 2009, since he stopped competing, he probably loaded his arm up with, you know, all kinds of stuff. And that really contributed to the arms looking even worse in a front double. So now he never hits it because he knows it's pretty revealing. And it probably makes his arms look pretty bad. So just wanted to make a profile video on Rich Piana because, like I said, um, whether you love him or hate him, it probably is one of my most requested profile videos. Because really, a lot of people just don't know about Rich Piana's competitive bodybuilding history. A lot of people actually think that Rich Piana was a pro bodybuilder. Um, so I kind of wanted to clear that up. He was just an NPC competitor, um, did not place at nationals, and never turned pro. So that is the contest history of Rich Piana. Thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.